you could put someone else's home on your backyard. We need to make housing more accessible and affordable for everyone. And so one way that we're growing our housing diversity is through accessory dwelling units, or ADUs as they're commonly referred to. An AARP grant funded a competition for ADU designs. Those plans are now free for Louisville homeowners. The contestants were asked to consider universal design within the home, exterior design and compatibility with the neighborhood, sustainability and efficiency. Take a look at the winners, Studio Cohab, Studio Mayo Architecture, and Louisville Building Inspector Dana Tinsley. The pre-approved designs will make it cheaper for homeowners building them and quicker for Office of Planning approval. So when designing it, I just wanted to make a space that was comfortable. Um, not no, and it's, it's, of course, AARP, so, um, you know, wheelchair, it, it will be wheelchair accessible because a lot of times it's for your mother-in-law who has gotten old and you may not want to put her in a nursing home. That comfort is squeezed into the 800-square-foot limit ADUs have. The units also need a bathroom and kitchen. They can be built studio style or with a single bedroom. Only one ADU is allowed on a single-family zoned lot. A newly formed Metro Council Committee is working on zoning changes and expanding Louisville's housing stock, but now faces a year-long state freeze on changes to city zoning that would have allowed for more construction of middle housing like duplexes or fourplexes. State Senator Julie Rocky Adams pushed for the freeze. Environmental concerns over building in Floyd's Fork led her to add the pause. In Louisville, Ian Hartwick, WHAS 11, on your side.